This is the Mistaway Gen 1.3 system. It's a 55 gallon drum unit. And if you've got the 125 gallon uh, tank, it operates the same way. This particular unit has the IMIS 2 option. It also has leak detection, which is uh, always included in the IMIS 2. But you can get leak detection separate if you want. If your system doesn't have these options, you can just uh, ignore that part of the video. But um, the rest of the rest of the items they apply. Let's boot up the system and see what the display says. I'm plugging it in now, and first it's going to say missed, and then it says away. So missed away. It's a Gen 1.3. Uh, this is telling us that the uh, what revision the product is. This is product revision number 112, and it usually stays on there for just a short bit, and then it moves on to I missed two is on. And now you see it's flashing empty. The tank, uh, the level is zero bars. Normally there's, if it's full, it has eight bars. We'll see that later. The controller is split into two menu systems. Across the top, we've got operational modes. And along the left, we've got um, the setup and maintenance modes or settings. First thing we'll do is set up the operational mode, and you do that by hitting the green button. It goes from off to remote only. It goes to auto every day next. And then if you only want to have the thing missed on certain days, you can go into auto custom. And over here, when we talk about it later, uh, you can set which days you want it to miss. Most people, we just cycle this green button, and it just keeps going over and over. Most people leave it in auto every day, but you're more than welcome to go to auto uh, custom and set the days of the week. To make the left side menus active, you just hit the red button, and now the left side menus are active, and you can see it's flashing on day and time. If we press the green bu select button, it says Sunday. Um, instead of being Sunday, it really is. Wednesday, so let's set that as Wednesday, and then we're going to set the time. We're going to pay attention to the a.m. p.m. You can see if you cycle past midnight, it goes to p.m., or go past noon, it goes to p.m., and then you go past midnight, it goes back to a.m. So what we're going to do is, it's about 10.40 right now, so we'll set it at 1040. Oh, I messed up, didn't I? Not a big deal. Just hit this and it cycles back. Just keep the select. You see how they it just cycles all the way around. Okay, 10, advance, and I'm going to move it down to 40. Let's call it 1041 now. Okay, so when you're done, you hit the red button and it drops back up into the operational modes wherever you had it set before. Now let's talk about setting the cycles. We hit the red button once. That makes the left side menus active. It happens to be on day and time, so we come down by putting the arrow down key once. Now it's on cycles. If we hit the green button, that's going to advance to the, that menu. It's blinking cycle one. You can select whatever cycle you want to set, all the way up to 24. We're going to start with cycle 1. We advance, and we tell it how many seconds we want to miss. Let's select 45 seconds. It's good to miss anywhere between 30 and 60 seconds. It kind of depends on the mosquito pressure you've got. Uh, we can start it out at 45, see how that works. Some people will start it out at 60, and that's pretty much assured to get them, and a week later they'll bring it back five seconds, and they'll do that again the, the next week. They keep bringing it back five seconds, and then they find the sweet spot. Today, we're just going to set it at 45 seconds. We advance, and now we set the time. So you got to watch the AM, PM here, and we're going to set it for 6 AM so that uh, it, it right about now, 6 a.m. is uh, 30 minutes before dawn, and it's a perfect time to mist. 
our irrigation uh, is triggered like at 2 in the morning, so it's not going to wash it off. You want to make sure you don't have your irrigation washing the stuff off. So now if we hit the up arrow, when this is blinking, the cycle 1 is blinking, we can hit 2, and now it's on the cycle 2. And we can advance and set for, uh, we'll set 45 seconds again. And we'll tell it to go this time. Let's tell it to go at 8 p.m. I watch the a.m. p.m. See, we're going to go past noon, and now we're in p.m. And we're going to go to 8 o'clock because that's 30 minutes before dusk here right now. And that's the perfect time, 30 minutes before dusk. Because uh, as you know, as the sun sets, the mosquitoes really come out. So that's good. We'll advance. We don't have to change the minutes. And now it's asking what cycle. So we'll hit cycle three. And you can hit two or three cycles. That's what most people do. Um, we're going to go ahead and uh, set, uh, let's call it a 30 second cycle. And we're going to make it at 10 p.m. That way we'll just, the sun is set by now, and what we're going to do is leave it at 10 p.m. so it stays on the plants for a while, at least until the irrigation pops off at 2 o'clock. All right, so we're done setting the cycles. We hit the red button, and now it drops back into the operational mode that you had set previously. If you only want to set this uh, system to, to mist on certain days, what you do is you come down to the custom program. We hit the red button once. The left menus are active. We come down to custom program. Hit select key. And now you're going to select which days of the week you want it on and off. So let's say we want it off on Monday. We hit select and then we can hit off. All right. So Tuesday it's on. Monday it's off. Sunday it's on. Let's set that back to the way it was, and then we'll continue. Now let's talk about the setup menu. To make the left side menus active, we press the red button once. There's the cursor way up here by daytime. Let's move it down to setup. It's on setup, so we hit the green button to advance. And the first item in the setup menu is about the remote. In order for the remote to work, it has to be turned on. The way you do that is you select remote, and now you set how many seconds you want the remote to trigger for. We can go 45 seconds, that's good. And now the remote is blinking. Now there's a lot of items in the setup menu, so below remote, we go down, is the next item. This is learn the remote transmitter. To synchronize the remote control with the, with the controller of the system, what we'll do is we make the left side menus active. We come down to setup. And we see we have some seconds in the remote control. That's good. Now we come down here, and that's learn transmitter. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull the battery tab out. And that makes the battery active on, the, on this uh, remote, on the remote transmitter. Um, what we'll do then is we'll hold the uh, select button down for five seconds, and it'll turn in itself into the learn on. So it's, it's looking for a remote right now. Now to activate the remote, we take a paper clip. There's a little hole in the back with a little blue light, and you just go in there and just click it once real quick. And you'll see it's blinking real fast. It's communicating with the controller. And there you have it, it says done. So now this remote is synced with this controller. Now if something goes wrong and it doesn't work and it counts down all the way down, what you can do is you can you, you take your little paper clip in the hole and you go you go one, two, three, four, and then the fifth one you hold it down for three seconds. And then that resets the remote.
Bingo. After learn the remote transmitter, we go down and we see it says man. That stands for a manual mist. To do a manual mist, you hold down the up and down arrow keys at the same time and the system will trigger for however many seconds that you have set in here. The factory default is 30. You can change that to however you like it. We'll go down to NOZ, which stands for nozzles. If you've got a system with leak detection, you must set uh, how many nozzles you've got in the system. Uh, otherwise, if you're off by one, let's say you've got a 33 nozzle circuit out in your yard and you set it for 32, uh, you're going to be putting out more fluid than the system calculates that you need and it's going to trigger an error. So it's important to have it exact. So uh, the nozzle is blinking, so we're going to select it and we're going to set it to whatever you've got in your nozzle circuit. We were just talking about a 33 nozzle system, so let's just pick that. There's a 33 nozzle system. And after nozzle, we can go down and it says AGT. That stands for agitation. This is the once daily agitation. Uh, if you leave it just as it is, it's going to agitate for 300 seconds, which is five minutes, at 3 p.m. every day. Now that's enough to, to cycle the entire contents of a 55 gallon drum. So that's good. So we'll go down arrow to see what's next. And now this is RAG, which stands for remote agitation. If you want it to agitate when you press the remote, go ahead and set that time in right here. Uh, just hit the select button and put in how much time you want. Um, most people just leave it to zero because when they press the remote, they just want it to mist real quick. And so we're going to leave it at zero. All right, next is tolerance. This is, talks about how sensitive it, the leak detection is, um, as well as, you know, the nominal flow rate. This is also a leak detection parameter. But these are these are pran, uh, those are parameters that uh, that you can change, uh, and you can read about them later. It's kind of off outside the scope of this quick video. This have this is a option that you can get in the system if you've got a uh, anemometer, you know, a wind vane that you want to have the system turn off uh, or excuse me inhibit the mist. If it's windy outside, this is where you you turn it on and turn it off. You can set what, uh, if you're using one of those wind detection inhibitors, uh, you can set what wind speed that you'd like the system to not mist above. So anything, this one is set 10 miles an hour or, or faster, the system won't mist. If you've got the 125 gallon, uh, you would set that here. This is the 55 gallon drum. And we're back to remote. 